It's like, hey, I'm gonna get myself a drink. Why can't you say that, dude? <laughs> I don't get it. Are you a chef? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a chef? Yeah. Sorry, about you. <laughs> a chef. <laughs> Rambly, right? Yeah. A chef. Ali Portman's right here. She's sitting, yeah. talking to friends. She's talking to friends. Yeah. She's at the Halloween party. She's dressed up as the Black Swan. I'm going to go to... <laughs> I'm going to go to... You got to say more conviction, bro. I want you to look tomorrow in the mirror. I want you to just look at yourself and say that shit for 10 times. With the costume on? <laughs> he just added that. You don't have to put the costume No on. one said with the costume on. Um, I'm going to get myself a drink. Um, I'm a good <laughs> <laughs> I was just <laughs> the way he looked at him. Was like... That's Selena Gomez, man. Yeah, and I think she was seen dancing with like some other white guy at a party. Hmm. It's all right. You know, for the longest, I thought I had a chance with her. <laughs> Wait, what, Selena Gomez? Yeah, I don't yeah. know why you thought that. I feel like if she ever got to know me, like, <laughs> she's like, nah, that sounds crazy, but same. Not with her, but in general, I thought it I was would... like one, right? Like you'd be like, yeah. hey, like if she knew me, like I think she, I could. You would you think, know, I, you know? I think we'd be a good match. I think I she, think she so. fucked with me. Yeah, I think so. I don't think you used to then go always to be a good match. Why not? <laughs> just all the shit I've seen. Like obviously, I don't know her, but just I'm not saying I'm her type or nothing, but like. <laughs> I feel like I would have been like that guy, like, hey, I didn't even know I was into like guys like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you at least talk to them? You don't even have to try to get, just, you know, practice talking to them. Yeah. You could go out there and be like, hey, I just want to practice talking to a girl. But see, that's another thing. You don't got to be too aggressive. Just, yeah. Hey, <laughs> I'm George. Well, like, like if you get, like, if you're first or anything, be like, handshake? Or... Yeah, don't go for a hug, you weirdo. Unless you know, they you go can for just, a hug. like, you know, yeah, or no, nah, but if they're sitting down, go and introduce me. Yeah, I'm Jordan. And Say, be like, can I get you guys anything to drink? Isn't that a little bit creeper? Creep? No, you're not gonna make them a drink. Where you saying like, what, you want to drug them? But don't yeah. say like unless man, you're you trying like, to drug them. Jordan's gonna be like, I want to drug you later. <laughs> you could say like this. You say like, like, oh, I'm gonna get a drink. You know, like you ladies want one. Now you get them all a drink. Now they're all options. I can't even say that. Say what Hector just said. Can I get you a drink? Nah, I didn't <laughs> say that. What he said? I said I'm gonna get myself a drink. Would you ladies like one? I'm gonna get myself a drink. <laughs> yeah, Are you practice laughing? Just practice. Practice. All, right, all right. I want you to just be like. I I just want to hear you say that. All right. Let me. Let you what? Let me try to think. Wait. You don't have to think. I just told you what to say. Can you say that again? I'm going to give myself a drink. You you guys want one? No. Right. <laughs> Can I grab something for you? Besides that ass. <laughs> just say it to me. All right. <laughs> um, I'm going to give myself a drink. Um, I'm going to give you a drink. I was just... <laughs> <laughs> The way he looked at him. His <laughs> acting was on point. Zane, here you go. Go on, bro. <laughs> go. Wait, he got laughing too much. All right. Say more chill. I'm going to get myself a drink. All right. I'm going to go get something to drink. Uh, do you guys any? Do you guys have any? <laughs> can, I, can I get something for you guys? Or do you guys want anything? Like, whatever, whatever is easier for you. Yeah. You know, you can improvise that one. You can prize both parts. Just say it however it comes to you. Uh, so I'm gonna grab myself a drink. I'm gonna grab something. <laughs> I'm gonna grab myself. <laughs> I'm gonna grab myself a drink. <laughs> Would you can ladies... I can I get something for you guys? Can I get something for you? And if they say no, it's ah, it's cool. Right. They're blah, I'm all right. Okay. All right. And then you say, excuse me? I'm in a podcast. <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> Someone's probably going to bring it up anyways. Yeah. We'll, we'll, have, we'll have you up. Yeah, we'll yeah, have yeah. You if you up. have your camera, you got to take your camera. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Take your camera. If it's too dark, I can't. It's too. We'll bring these lights. Don't worry. I'll bring you my camera. <laughs> we'll tell. We'll sense. tell. We'll tell. Well, my doesn't turn the thing that gives them the look? Yeah, there. Yeah. If you want that, too. Does your shit have an attachment for that? Uh, just screw them. Um, 
you're supposed to take off that little top cap and then yeah you just slide it on we'll do it yeah. right now i can't even see if i'm gonna do it you're asking the... <laughs> yeah that's the take it out yeah if we're just pointing at it yeah that's right there yeah. yes no yeah, 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 that's it. Oh, it's already off. Okay. Damn. Yeah, I know, and point. that's how, that's how you're going to get the nut. You're going to be like, oh. No, you're not going to get the nut. You're going to be cool. You're going to be like, oh, I could, because you're going to take your little thing. You're going to be like, oh, I could airdrop you the photo right now. Please. And if they're like, oh, you could just send it to me. And you're like, oh, that's how you get your phone number. No, 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 no Instagram, that. Instagram. I'll say that. I'll say that. No, I'm not. <laughs> hey, Bradley, can you laugh at Instagram page? <laughs> like, yeah, I can usually post my pictures on there. Maybe clean up your following a little bit. Yeah, why do you follow a hundred thousand people? A hundred thousand. A hundred? Let me see. It's a uh, six nine hundred that yeah, you follow. I don't think that's a thing. I don't even know. That, six, that was I mean, I mean, uh, six thousand and nine hundred. That's a lot. Yeah, seven thousand people you follow. <laughs> why do you follow so many girls? <laughs> They're girls. All of them. They are. For sure. I'm on following all of them. <laughs> no, you're not. I am. You should vet your followers. It's like, mostly now. It's mostly just dudes that I follow uh, <laughs> photography and like graffiti guys. Uh, there's not that many good photographers or graffiti guys for you to meet. I am. It, I'm going many? around all over the world. I'm following people. <laughs> That's your version of traveling. You're Mr. Worldwide, right? <laughs> that was insane. But I am. I, I am. I'm following all of them. It, yeah. I, at one point, I was so close to getting to 5,000. <laughs> Obviously not. Uh, You're 2,000 away. Yeah. <laughs> when was that? Like a couple <laughs> like months ago. There was a... Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, I was out. And then, um, yeah, some dude was like, stop me. He tried, oh, like, can I take your picture? He had a big-ass camera shake. Can I take your picture? I'll airdrop it to you right now. And I was like, nah, bro, I'm good. <laughs> and I was telling him, I was like, see, that's how they get you. If it was an airdrop it to me, then somehow he's going to fucking... Hack into my phone and shit. Like, nah, nah, nah. cool. Yeah. That's kind of weird. What the hell? I want a picture of myself. Well, everyone, does, that's the whole like Instagram thing. Like, can I take a picture of you real quick? And then they take like all these nice pictures or whatever. Edit them for you. That one's set up. Obviously, they're shut up. They know the person. Yeah. But this guy was trying to get like, or he wasn't, or he was really trying to. Maybe, but you cripple. could actually hack someone's phone just by uh, plugging in like one of these things. Oh, yeah. Now, if somehow you get. To be able to just put that in someone's phone or a computer, that's them. You, you, you're hacked. I just don't. I don't know how hard it is to get those things. But you probably get it on the black market. How much? <laughs> I want them to check. That's what you need to do at the party now. <laughs> fucking hacking people's phone. Hey, uh, I can store your phone, but I'm not gonna hack you. Okay. Save a mine again. <laughs> One last time. Which like how much? Why no. the, 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 right. What line was that? How I'm much? <laughs> this was rehearsing his baseline fucking lines. Now they're talking about <laughs> you getting yourself a drink. All right. <laughs> More chill. Just deep breath. Yeah, still take a shot if you want. Do you need a shot? I already have a drink. Let me. Tell you what he said. <laughs> what is it? His head. Like he said, I don't know. Just for this, you gotta take. You know what? Just relax a little bit. Teach yeah, his own. Trying. I don't want to judge. Yeah, that's not gonna make much get... of a difference. <laughs> and don't get drunk either, dude. I'm not. Yeah. Um, I'm dude, gonna go get something fair. to drink. <laughs> I mean, Why do you sound like a little, you look like a little kid? Like, why are you looking at? You gotta be like confident, George. Take it. Oh, right. you put some bass in your voice. <laughs> Deep breath. Make him get myself something to drink. Because I'm gonna go get something to drink. Do you guys want anything? <laughs> yeah, that's all right. That's all right. You gotta say more conviction, bro. I want you to look tomorrow in the mirror. I want you to just look at yourself and say that shit for ten times with the costume on. <laughs> he just added that. You don't have to put the costume. No one on. said with the costume. <laughs> You, you gotta get a full character. I am. I am gonna be with my costume. <laughs> you're gonna wear it tomorrow. Well, yeah, you're gonna be in your costume. Yeah, right? but you don't have to. Is that gonna make you feel better? Yeah. If it does, then yeah, wear it. <laughs> and you see, everyone's gonna be what wearing costumes, so you're gonna be like, "Oh, I'm gonna look weird or something." Yeah, like, no, it's Halloween. Weird. They're probably gonna, you just got off work or what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, ask them. Oh, you were asking me. <laughs> oh, they're gonna tell you. <laughs> they're gonna ask you if I just got off work. No, nah, I got the day off. They're they're gonna say because they think you you work at a burger. It's a joke because <laughs> you're, uh, you're gonna be in a fucking 
He's not like, Azunaga. Yeah. I do want to see how your costume looks. Does it have a wig too? No. Oh. You should just the just the mustache, mustache and the. Wait, what are you? Bob's, Bob's Burger. Bob. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why I said I need a spatula now. Take one from your house. Yeah, but I'm gonna get the. Well, what's the other one called? Like the brick one? It doesn't have any holes. Oh yeah, it's like the long yeah. rectangle one. You don't have one. I think it's no. Oh. Those aren't hard to find, by the way. <laughs> are they? I think so. I've been trying to buy one, and I don't. I've been going to Target and shit. I haven't found one yet. Mm. Home goods. Try home goods. Yes, to one. Damn, all right. Ten times tomorrow. You good? Not sure. With a mirror practice. <laughs> say with more conviction. You know, maybe when you get a little more looser, it's going to be. Yeah. But don't say it like you're being quizzed. <laughs> it's, make it seem like we made you practice this line, and now if you don't say it correctly. You perfected it. You just gotta. Damn, yeah. when George shows up with his light in the camera. Matter of fact, go pick it up from his house, bro. I want you to pull up with. <laughs> <laughs> what if he doesn't go or some shit? I mean, you don't have it. <laughs> They're gonna be like, "That's got legit." Is that La Familia camera, man? <laughs> don't worry, that's our job. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, dude. You gotta let others. We'll hype you on. up. Yeah. He's gonna <laughs> hype us. He, he's gonna be like, "Can I take your picture?" And then he's gonna be like, "Is that La Familia?" <laughs> <laughs> and then he's gonna start. <laughs> George, I could see him introducing himself as that, not even his name, just. Hi, I'm so and so. I'm uh, the cameraman yeah, fucking, for the fucking the family. The other day, I was out with my with the homie, and then we were like at a restaurant just drinking. And then, uh, like this group comes in. It's like a group of ten, uh, five guys, five girls. Looks like they're celebrating someone's birthday and shit. They're like late forties, early fifties, and they <laughs> they got seated next to us. And they looks like they were coming from like a nice dinner, and they were just having drinks here. Whatever. And then uh, I was like, damn, is this going to be us in uh, 20 years? Like, with our wives? And he was, <laughs> my homie was like, fuck, I hope not. All those girls are like 200 pounds. <laughs> and he was, I mean, we look all right. Like, the guy, all the males were like, you know, they're in yeah, shape. Yeah. They should. And then, yeah, the girls, you know, they let, <laughs> let themselves go a little bit. But, mm. And I was like, nah, it's 20 years. That's going to be your your thing. Like, you got to. Yeah, you're gonna you stick know, to the that. girl you had no with, you know. And he was like, "Nah, I don't know." What the fuck? Oh, he said he wouldn't. Yeah, he wouldn't. Oh, he's fat phobic. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but that's got me. I, I I feel like I'm the same way. <clears throat> not not that not that sense. Like if we both let ourselves go, cool. But if I'm still keeping up, <laughs> you gotta keep up too, and vice versa. If she still look like whatever in the gym, watching, which, looking good, I can't let myself go. Like yeah. if we both decide, oh, it's cool. We both let ourselves go for whatever. But yeah, we either both go or neither. Yeah, because I can't be looking good, you not, and vice versa. Like you looking yeah. all good, and then you, you bringing me out. Like who the fuck is this slob? <laughs> you guys think you? I feel like I'm gonna be fat. Like, what's like in? 10, I feel like you are. <laughs> like in ten fifteen. I, <laughs> I feel like I am, dude. That's my thing. Thinking of the catch up. Yeah, because I'd be eating too much. No, nah, I, don't, I don't think I am. I think I'd really, really have to like try to let myself go. To I just stopped eating point. too much. You say like you just stopped. early this year? Oh yeah. Because my problem is like whatever I get home from work, bro. I'll eat so like or anywhere. I'll eat so like I just can't eat no more. <laughs> and then, you know one day I was like, you know, I'm just going for work and have one plate. Yeah. And and that's okay. I like, mean. <laughs> Yeah. I don't need to go and get like two and a half, get another full one, then go, you know, portion my for the third one, you get a little half, you know, portion. Right. Like I don't need to go to sleep full as fuck. Like I could just eat one yeah. plate and I'm still yeah. full. But my problem is I'm always like when people ask me if I'm as like I'll say like uh, I mean, I'm down, I could eat. Yeah, I, I can still eat. Like like I can still you eat just like, ate like a whole I just meal. I just ate like an hour ago. Mm-hmm. Like Yeah, I feel that. It's hard. It's it's just hard a little bit. Cause you get yeah. hungry like in a couple hours, but then you're like, fuck it, I'm just gonna sleep. Yeah, especially you got snacks at home. That Wait, see, a, I don't have snacks. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I I'll stop. just make meals. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you'll make full-on meals anytime you're hungry. Yeah. Well, just leftover. Just make, like, you know? Yeah, yeah, a lot of it. Yeah. Nah, yeah, that's the, that's the hardest part for sure. Yeah. That, that's I think so my bad habit was um, either before coming here or leaving here, like, 
my thing was to go get something from it. Because there was like four Jeez, restaurants on the way <laughs> to my house. Yeah. But I stopped doing that shit. I stopped eating dinner. I have like a little thing in for breakfast and then I'll eat a solid meal for lunch. And then that's it. Yeah, sometimes I'll, I won't even eat throughout the day because I'm maybe just too busy and then I just pig out at night. But that's when I night. try to just really, really stop. Because I'll just get like a full, full meal at in and out and I wake up feeling like, like shit. So... Yeah, every time I go in and out, I think I'm cool with like a three by three. Like no fries, no soda, just a straight three by three. And I think. See, that's what I used to do. I used to just get the burger. But now, because of my significant other sort of influencing my decision, like, oh, you're going to get fries? No, nah, I don't want fries. And then she gets some, and I'm just like, no, well, let me have a little. Yeah, take her fries. She's not going to finish it. <laughs> and you then guys can share. That's still. Yeah. But, that's... Then, but then and then I get to the point where, let me just get my own fries, actually. You're going to get a shake? No, I'm not going to get a shake. And by the next time, I go, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to get a shake, too. No, nah, the other day I was, I was I was there. I was like, I actually had in and out today for lunch. But the other day I was there, too, and I got I got a 4x4. Four four. I was like, I'm just going to get the 4x4 four four and, and a drink. And then the person I was with got like a the three or whatever the cheeseburger the combo the and I was like, I'll just eat her fries it's, she's yeah. not even gonna finish the burger like, <laughs> better finish the burger and I ate the fries and then I was like and I ate the four by four and I was like fuck I'm still hungry yeah. and then if the line wasn't long I was gonna go and order like a double double mm. but then I was like nah cause see, that's another dangerous thing sometimes you be with a girl and they don't finish their food but now you get to finish it yeah but now that I know that I don't Perks. order as much you know yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'll be like, she's not gonna finish. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna take that. As my friend, I'm ordering for her. I'm like, yo, order this because I want to eat this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, instead of getting a single, get a double. Yeah, because then yeah. now she's gonna eat a lot less. And yeah. then like she, you know, you could go to like some restaurants and they'll do the the lunch size or the the full meal. Like I'll get the full meal because I'm I'm gonna finish the rest. <laughs> I think the fattest thing I've ever done is I went to go eat in and out, and I was still hungry, and I just went to Chick Fil A right after. That's I've never felt worse. I've done shit like that, bro. Yeah, that's not in two different spots, but the same. I think my fattest thing is to go to um, some of these like barbecue places or like Buffalo Wild Wings, and they'll have like a like an appetizer sampler, and I'll eat the whole thing myself. I said that bad, bro. Those are big, but the Buffalo Wild Wings, like you get a little thing of nachos, you get I think four mozzarella sticks, a handful of onion rings. Like five boneless wings. And what's that? I think that's it. I think that's you're right. You, like you five get fat. You know the the who that's serves it who has food. a good sampler too. Uh, the Mister Doggo. Their appetizers. We sampler. got that shit one time. Yeah, Remember we, we got like a big, and old, a big ass tray. Yeah, big ass tray of like rolled taquitos. You were there too, Mister Taco. We went there we, at night one time. We went after, after one, one of these. Yeah, after one of these. Well, oh, it that's in Redlands. It was yeah, there yeah. like COVID. Yeah, yeah I remember. Cool. I remember. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't that when it was like super windy for no reason? Uh, I think it was, it was cold. Maybe. I don't know if it was windy. But oh, no, we, we went, went to um, TGI Fridays, remember? And it was like yeah. super windy and we ate outside and we're like, why the fuck are we And I think Drew came. No. Somebody... Yeah. This yeah. was during COVID oh, too. Oh, he yeah, left. Yeah, 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 He got. Why did yeah. he go there? There was know. nothing else. Oh, because it might have been that late. Oh, yeah, it was TGI we went somewhere else, and then we ended up at TGI's. And then there was sitting, there was yeah. seating outside. They still had like a tent and everything, but it yeah. was like super windy. Now you know what was Drew's fast did shit one time. We got in and out. He got a four by four and like animal fries. And I kid you not, there is a Panda Express right next to now. This fool went and got a a plate of Panda Express, like the to go plate, yeah. and he ate all that shit in the span of like thirty minutes. Oh, both meals. Both meals. Oh fuck. Because we got in and out, we ate inside, and then we walked in. He's like, there's a panda right here? And then he went across to order his panda shit. Yeah. That's impressive, actually. <laughs> nah, he eats a lot. That's he a lot does. Food, that yeah. fucker eats a lot, bro. Shit. He's that fool. He needs to keep up with his fucking his workout. <laughs> I haven't seen him, so he's looking. Nah, he looks like <laughs> Well, I mean, maybe you, because I see him a lot, so if you see him, you'll probably be like, oh, this fool's got a little. A little husky, or uh, thick. I feel like he'll get it in the face too. Like, yes, yeah, he got chubby cheeks already. <laughs> the uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, oh, this got brought up a while ago. Like, you know, rent's a little, a little expensive now, right? Living in California has gotten 
So there's a few people who have started living in their car. They're like, you know, we're going to save up. I'm going to save up this money I'm using for rent. Share. Just, you know? Yeah. So now that shit got me thinking. And I was like, if I could be able to do it. I, I can't do it. All right, I'm going to say that right now. But like, the thing I couldn't be able to do it. And I'm, I'm not even saying these people are living like an RV. I've seen the people get the RV and shit. These people are living like sprinter vans that they just take off all the seats and make yeah. it like, yeah. Because I feel like at the end of the day, you're wasting the same amount of money. I mean, I, I I didn't do the whole numbers, but just off the head. Um, you probably are saving a good amount of money, but you have to buy food every day. Um, let, I'm, I'm not saying RV. I'm saying the spinner vans, take all the seats. Later. Food every day, we have to grill. Unless you're going to buy out every day, you can't. Where are you going to keep the food that you, the groceries that you do have? I think they use an ice chest. Nope. That's not so but that Yeah, that's not. Whoa. Bro, that sounds weird. This guy, because they hit the mic. He's drunk? No. It's because I they put too much to there. Yeah, the ice chest isn't that uh, efficient. And then if I got to get a grill, I got to get a generator. How much the generator is going to be? Got to fill gas, probably. Get a Bunsen burner. More than usual. No, I think you do save at least $1,000 every month. If not more. But is that what? But, but the thing is, like, what if your car breaks down? Exactly. Now you're that's fucked. foreclosure. Like, <laughs> you're, <laughs> like you're, or your car gets sold and breaks into your car. Yeah. While you're in there. Yeah, or your car gets sold in. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, cause I've seen that they go and they they get a gym membership. Yeah. And they take they a shower, shower at the gym, gym, all this shit. Brush their teeth. Which, good for them, you know. Or when you got to go to work, the sold and breaks into your car. Yeah. Hey, most of all, what if I'm out and I'm meeting girls? We're going to be like, let's go back to my place. Like, yeah, hey, I'm all for fucking in the car, but the car's not my house. Like, I don't live here, too. <laughs> right. This is optional. Not man. And I don't know how many girls would be down for that. So actually, for living in your car with you? Not living. I don't want to live in my car. Just come back and get. Uh, no, they'd be down. <laughs> they'd be down. I think I think that's not that far from what some of them do now. Yeah, you're right. I don't think that that was like, crazy. But what if it was like my, I was trying to make her my girl and shit. Oh, so you got to. Put her on to a situation. I don't think those people are dating though. Yeah, they're not. not for the for that year. You're you're giving that up too. <laughs> yeah, you're not getting nothing bro. <laughs> unless you get invited over to their place and you're not. It'll be embarrassing to kind of meet up with them. How do you break break it to them though? You so I live in my. You tell them your shit. You know how I live in my car. I'm saving up money for a house for a year. Yeah. And I get it like, if you're like in a situation where you just have no one to depend on and you're kind of just on your own. Then okay, like that's yeah. a last resort, and you know. Yeah, and where are you where are you stationing your car? At the gym mostly, like wherever they they can park. I know I've seen videos of where like they'll get kicked out and Yeah, I've seen them too. But I think they're resourceful for sure. They are, but then they're not to... getting the right nutrition. I think <laughs> for that year you're gonna struggle. Yeah. yeah, and I think for sure Physically and mentally. It's not the cleanest. Not for... Oh, it's even not... if you're a bit you you're you're gonna be in there, like it's gonna be dirty, like it's gonna like all those even like what your body expels, like all the the sweat, the and perspiration, and the oils. You're gonna be all stuck, confined in that little. Like it's thing. gonna get on like the walls and the seats, and it just doesn't become clean. And now you have yeah. to, obviously, if you don't clean it, like a deep clean, then like dead skin cells everywhere. Like that just starts to spout. Like, how much would rent have to be for you guys to consider doing some shit like that? Oh, the minimum rent in like the ghetto, maybe like three thousand. If it got three K, you might. Oh, in the ghetto, yeah. What the fuck? Like three K in the ghetto, like yeah. If I pay like okay. Del Rosa, but like in the bad area, for sure, I'm not living there. For three K, nah. Yeah, it's got to be like three different families in one bedroom apartment for you to be able to afford that shit. Yeah. You always get a tiny home. Those little, they sell at Home Depot. Yeah, you can get one of those, but where you gonna put it? Yeah, but you gotta buy a piece. Yeah, right. You gotta buy the property unless you just post up right here in front of your. <laughs> yeah, because they're they're anywhere from like they even have like aside from Home Depot, like they yeah. have manufacturers for that. Yeah, but well, Amazon does it. Loads. Everyone does it. Yeah, and you can get a good deal on one, but you just like you said, where the hell do you put it? Yeah, yeah. but I think that's when you grab your shit and you go to like Kansas or something and you buy a piece of land for like five thousand bucks. <laughs> Yeah. And you just post up right there. Yeah. 
I think that's a better move. Get the hell out of California if that's your situation. Oh, instead of living in your car here. Oh yeah. I see some guy who who lives in a an old Camry. Uh, and it's just him, and he the way he sleeps is he just puts his shell way back, and then at night he puts the little covers on all the windows, and yeah, this guy is resourceful as you said. He has like everything. So that car is probably weighs double what it should weigh because it is packed as fuck. Uh, that's honestly a little impressive. Living out of a. I imagine when they have to work on the car, like you got to get something fixed, like <laughs> or, yeah. or well, that's why maybe they got the camera because at least it's reliable. All right, but then you really do have to worry about someone breaking in because you're you're easy prey for somebody who's. But watching you. at the same time, like, what the hell are they going to take? A car? <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker take my anything. house. Motherfucker will take anything, though. That's, that's a good that's, deal, though. That's it. Oh, funny enough, Tafu Bochi's car got broken into. Oh, shit. Yeah, he got his uh, passenger side busted. He laughed. George yeah. is laughing. It was him. That's <laughs> He set him up. Damn, at work? At his spot. Oh, I'm not going go there no more. And he said that, like, five or six other cars got hit, too. Oh, and fuck. coincidentally, like they were all in spots where the cameras couldn't see. Mm. So it smells like an inside job. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he's in on it. <laughs> <laughs> he just <laughs> likes <laughs> insurance fraud. I don't even know if you can fuck it. Would that even be worth it? Insurance no. fraud a broken one? Hell no. Nah. Unless you're. I think you said they're charging like 500 for the Claiming window. like a diamond ring. Who was charging 500 for the window? Uh, safe light. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, for sure. Safe light, yeah. Down just for a passenger side window. Don't tell me he did it. I think <laughs> getting it through the insurance. I think he had to take it today or yesterday for them to put plastic over in the meantime. Oh, to just cover the... So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, have done that shit himself. He did at work, but, like, <laughs> literally they put um one of those laminates. <laughs> Yo, he used to be one of the most resourceful... This guy is serious. He bro. did. He, uh, used a, he used a trash bag, but, I mean... It's gonna blow out. Like, yeah, he used a uh, like one of those visible like pocket folders, and they cut it in half. Okay. So they can put it like closer to where you can see the side mirror, so it's transparent. So like in one side you have the bag, and then the other side that transparent um, folder. But then he went to go get that other stuff. Yeah. But I don't know if they charge him. For, I doubt it. He wouldn't pay for that. Five hundred. That's crazy. That, that is crazy. Said. that is crazy. There's no way that should cost five hundred. The safe flight that expensive is that that one? Yeah, it's like the the main. Yeah, it's like the oh they have the brand name. The yeah, item. yeah. Oh, okay. But actually, that's funny enough. Like I had the bad luck of getting my uh, windshield cracked, and it like split, and so I had to get it replaced, and then I got a deductible and everything, and I. Did the claim through the insurance, whatever, and I and I still had to pay two hundred and fifty bucks for a deductible, right? And then it said like there's warranty and shit. And um, funny enough, like a month later, like on that same road, like I got another rock and it like chipped my windshield again, but it didn't like spread, so it was just like a little little chip. Yeah. And fucking, and they told me. And I thought like, oh, like I can use the warranty. Maybe they have something like within like 60 months of your shit cracks or whatever. But all that warranty really is, is like if they mess up, like they're going to fix it. Mm, yeah. But they that's how they advertise it though. That's how they get you. They're like, oh, like Safe oh, Flight yeah, has yeah. lifetime warranty yeah. for as long as you own the car. Got it, got but it. what the hell is that warranty? The warranty is only like if literally if it's, it literally says if like their labor is at fault yeah. for why the malfunction happened or why it broke or whatever. Yeah. Then they're going to take responsibility. Like, no shit. Like, that's already given. Like, why the hell are you yeah. guys able to fucking advertise that you guys guarantee for life as long as you own the car? Yeah, that's uh, that's that's included. And something else that somebody told me is that, like, they're in that industry and that, you know how, like, they'll do those uh, resin fills? That shit doesn't even matter. Like, it doesn't... It doesn't hold it in place any more than it would without it. And in some situations, if the crack isn't big enough, they have to make it bigger. 
for them to be able to put that resin in. Mm. But they don't guarantee that when they break it more, if it like goes, like if it starts cracking and then and it, and it has that split, they're not responsible for that. So all that shit is bullshit. Yeah. It's a fucking company made off of nothing. I get the windshield replacement part, but not the the resin. The resin. The resin is useless. And this is where we're paying more insurance for next year. Premiums yeah. going up. Wes, did you have those dry sprayers? <laughs> oh, I got another one, but I don't I feel like we've been like <laughs> What time <are> we at? <laughs> I mean if you count in us teaching George. <laughs> what happened? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm saying if you count in like us teaching George how to talk to girls. No. No, I didn't. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep that in there. Yeah, we weren't teaching. We were just giving pointing. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Episode 177 of the La Familia Pod. The guys are in. Beautiful night to be recording. A little something on the playlist. If you guys haven't already added, go ahead and go add the Para Hangar. That will be all the latest releases and the worthwhile songs that we feel like you guys should be listening to. And then the OG playlist will be all reggaeton, pretty much all music that we just love and feel like deserve to be on a playlist. This will be more so whatever's been out, not a certain timeline. And then we do have a Musica Mexicana one coming with Hector. He's going to be curating that one on spotify and then whenever you're done send it over i'll make it on on apple um but, yeah but go ahead and watch the, out for those um george does endorse the Barangar. he said he loves the the playlist so name one song you can't name one and you just uh, let you let it take control don't listen to it what you're talking about he said, I, I play it, but the volume's all the way down. He, he listened to it four times in a day. Mellow you out. Okay. Yeah, it has the George. You know you're not on the mic, so they're not. <laughs> yeah, they can't, they can't hear your, your little voice. Yeah, I'm trying to say whatever you say. This stuff. Uh, watch out for those. Those will be continuing to be updated. And be continuing to release on both Apple and Spotify, guys. First up, let's go with Fade. Fade is releasing or collabing with Magic Jordan, one of my favorite artists. Did you guys see that? No. Uh, yeah. yeah so he, I saw, well, I think it's more so he's announcing a novel with, with Sky. Rompiendo. Is, is that the same post? Yeah. Same post? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then he just has all the... Whoever's working on it? Yeah, it looks like... The... Well, Magic Jordan... Or Magic Jordan is going to be on either a song, collabing on that. I don't know what he's doing, but they're working together. Not something I was, I'd had on my 2024 bingo card, but I'm happy it's happening. Uh, one of my favorite artists. For anyone out there who does enjoy R&B and and hasn't heard of Magic Jordan, go ahead and listen to the uh, I think it's the Space Between. Let me double check. But great artist. What do you guys think about the forthcoming album? Oh, uh, I mean, expect. Well, I, it was expected. There we go. The Space Between by Magic Jordan. Oh, Magic Jordan dropped the song, too. Yeah, it did. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it. Great. They're hit makers. Not for themselves, but, you know, they have made some hits for Drake. So I'm excited to see that. You're looking forward to the song or the, the album? Uh, truthfully, the, the song. <laughs> If they have a song together, I'm I think looking forward to that the most because uh that's not something I would expect. But I think they they can get in the lab and make something unique, just like they do ATL Jacob. So I'm excited. Not something I would have assumed. What about a blast? Oh yeah. That one was fine. The fade part was great. Um Yeah. <laughs> Any other thoughts on fade or what's going on? Um, uh, I mean, it was expected. Looks like it's probably coming out like next month, maybe December. But he previewed something, no? Uh, it was like a trap one, I think. Or he did do some, but he there was a thing coming out of him like doing like a trap song. Hmm. It was like him singing. Oh, okay. Well, him rapping. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, I know when he's like on the 
jet ski or something mm -hmm. and there was like the beat in the background yeah i didn't see that this was on an ig post uh, yeah this is a poster story i don't know yeah but, there was a post uh, a reggaeton page that they have yeah uh well we said he, he wasn't gonna stay quiet he's yeah. actually been pretty quiet for a little bit now yeah what's up last? uh quiet in terms of like him but he's usually What's the last thing you dropped? Are you the feature song? Semel Vida, my song. Oh, okay. Then yeah. before that was what? Sorry for that much, which was like in aside from features. June. Yeah. He hasn't been featured on anything lately. He was featured on the um, Omar Courts, no? Nah, he was on uh, no, no, the Fade on the Alo Claro. Alo Claro. That's what. Okay, yeah, I knew there was something more recent, but yeah. We'll, we'll see that album soon, I'm sure, before the year's up. Chencho and Rao, actually, apparently are going to be on a collab album. Yeah. How do we feel about that? The, I, I like it. They're, what, two for two? Or three for three? Two for two. I think they have three songs. What's the other one? Effecto. So oh, yeah. Super old um, Well, that's not really it. There's other people. On yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Uh, Yeah, I like it. We already got Yandel and Fade. Now we're getting the Rao Chencho. Uh... We got J Balvin and Bad But this is probably going to be like a five-pack, no? Yeah, I don't think it's going to be yeah. a lot of... Like a full album? I doubt that. Yeah, because... I mean, he still owes us an album. I feel like he think we forgot about that shit. <laughs> oh, around? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think he's forgot about it. <laughs> I feel like he did. I feel like, hey, I know yeah. something else, guys. Like, this is... This means I'm canceling the other stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, I mean, yeah, they've... For what they put out, it's been good. Yeah, they, they seem like a good combo. Yeah, we have. That's this. cool that the vet, the vet with. Well, I mean, I guess they're both kind of vets now, but the legend were like the the vet. I like that combo. Right, right. As a duo for an album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like another version of uh, J Balvin and Bad Bunny. Yeah, yeah. That was a little closer in age time. Yeah, age timeline wise, he. Um, like, yeah, I mean, Yandel's been popping since whatever, mid 2000s, same with yeah. Tetsu. Um, yeah, I don't know who else would be a good legend between those with the contemporary, yeah. Oh, probably like Don Omar and Mike Towers. Oh, that'd be a cool one, or Osuna. I was at the top two, all right. No, nah, Don Omar and Mike Towers won't be tight, yeah. I don't want to see Daddy Yankee. <laughs> I was gonna say him, but I was like, nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hate West shit on them. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't see what I mean. Who? I mean, who? Who else would you pair? Who else is out there? I would put probably like one of the females. Yeah, I was trying to find one for Cardi, but I mean, there's only one. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was trying to find like a male for her to like. Yeah, that would go off her. Uh, I would say like for the male, but I mean the the song they have together is a banger. Yeah. But I, I think she would need someone else. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what other duo would be cool. But Chencho and Rao, that's a, that's a great duo. I'm excited for this. I'm very, very excited. I I assume this isn't coming anytime soon, though. Nah, this is probably coming, like, next year. Yeah. We gotta or if it. it's ever coming. Right. Yeah, because then that's they true. shit and then sometimes they yeah. yeah. It's crazy how, like, we forget about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. haven't forgotten. <laughs> like the... Albums that could have been, yeah, that were like in talks, oh, yeah, like when Drake and Ye were like, "Oh, albums coming this year." It's like Wolves, never came out. Yeah, dang, that would have been a crazy ass at that time. Yeah, yeah. at that time, yeah, that would have broke the internet for sure. But it doesn't matter if that shit was mid; like it would have, yeah, it would have been bumping everywhere. Yeah, funny enough, today I was actually listening to some English music for the first time in a long time. <laughs> And I was listening to Magic Jordan and Party. And it gave me the, I'm like, damn, we should talk about English music. On here. <laughs> I feel like we do sometimes. Yeah, we do sometimes. Yeah. But shit so, worth our wow. We talked about yeah. Chris Brown last week. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. We're not going to talk about old shit. <laughs> yeah. You know, something, something. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like there's but, that notion that, like, we can't talk about some of that music. No, nah, it's just there's a lot of music from back in those days when I think that shit was popping that 
like i wish we had this you know oh and it was going on right now yeah wow. like yeah. for example if i mean that would have been everywhere but yeah but if that era in time could be transplanted onto now while we have this would be like insane because there was it was just nothing but heat for like six seven eight years for a while uh and it was coming from everywhere like from the underground from the mid-tier to it's just everything and yeah it was an ex- exciting time exciting time i think i mean that's how reggaeton is right now yeah that's it's true on a peak peak eras that is true yeah, uh, musica mexicanas, I think, in the same same sort of boat too. Yeah, a lot of the underground, the mid tier, and the top tier are all hot. But yeah, I think now, like, if we were to talk about English music, it wouldn't be as. No. What would we be talking about? Shit from the past, like that's why, yeah, because nothing that's really coming out. Like today, my you know my girl, put me, she's like, oh play this song with the uh, Glorilla and T Pain. <laughs> She said T Pain was was in his his bag, you know his old shit. His bag. Like, all right, let me let me give it a try. You know what? The T Pain part was was good. It was decent, but that Glorilla part was was not good. Not good. Yeah, but on to what we were Chencho Rao. Anything else on Chencho Rao? I mean, we'll see if it comes. A lot of people <laughs> say things, but yeah, yeah, I gotta hear from Rao too to see. What... Yeah, he hasn't said anything, right? But not a great deal. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, what else we got? We got fucking. I can't even see. My bad. You want to give your thoughts on the uh, hobby? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, Next, quick. Hector. I, I also got to listen to it. I listened to the full album, and we heard everything. We heard all the great songs beforehand. I think and. Overall, good album. Nothing that blew me out of the water. Um, but he did have a few in there that were a little different. Um, that weren't that same sort of like a B fucking guitar. Uh, Jesus. Sorry. I know, dude. George just hit the mic hard as fuck. I don't Again. Know if that, but yeah, not bad, not bad. Nothing that blew me out of the water, though. Um, like any any thoughts? Any quick it takes. just feels like a rushed album. Like I'm not trying to like say it like in a negative way. I don't know, bro. I I just feel like my heart. I feel like they're just not. <laughs> he just doesn't have the right people around him. Uh, it's just your intuition telling you. Yeah, just like there's it just doesn't seem like anyone's there to be able to like really pinpoint what he where he's hitting or where he could hit when the songs do hit the market. But for a while, they, they they were doing their thing with him. Yeah, but see, that's the problem because like now they have like this project to me feels like, you know, like oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give you an album, and then they kind of just like eh, and then they just scrap shit together. Oh, you think maybe they didn't have enough for the album that they wanted to make? Yeah, I don't and think then they it. just put out what they had. Yeah, I think they just put out what they had, and then like those songs that they. Uh, they added that weren't already out were kind of just like stuff that he liked and stuff that was kind of his bag. Yeah. Which isn't bad, but like as like a, a marketing thing and for this being your first album, like just, I don't know. I just feel like you can't, it should have been different. I think even down to like the artwork, I wasn't a fan of the artwork of the album cover. Yeah. I thought it should have been something else. I think considering the run he had leading up to, to the album, um, yeah. outside of the, the last three months that he was on hiatus, um, it doesn't really match up. That's and why I, I think all the new songs are, are fine. Like they're they're good. And I but... feel like I didn't. We didn't need an album from him. I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think we needed an album just yet. I think he could have gone if we would have got a this album a year from now. Yeah. I think it would have been the perfect time to where like he can. He can just be more on features and just coming yeah. out with um, more songs and the stuff that he already has out that that we're hitting, like for them just to be that, just to be yeah. singles, like the lead up singles to like how he started and then come in with a project with all new songs and not maybe add like one or two of the hits in there, which would have been fine, but not at every single song that he's came out with and 
and then add whatever number, like five or six extra songs. And I don't know. It just feels like it wasn't, there's not a lot of substance behind this album. The, um, what was I going to say? Uh, fuck. Oh yeah. Um, right or wrong. I don't know. I don't know, but I don't love them putting all the songs that have already been out on the album. Cause it doesn't give us, I think enough new material to then judge like the entire album. Off of. Yeah. The ratio was way off. Yeah. Uh, I think if the album would have been like 20 songs. Right. And you put these six or seven that have already been out, then all right, cool. Yeah. You get enough variety, but I think it's like one to one, the ratio. Well, yeah, I, I think it's fine. And, um, I was expecting to be more, more hyped up about it and more excited about uh, what, what I heard. But I think again, that that's because of the lead up was pretty crazy. And we got some like real bangers. And then the rest of the album isn't really in at this point, but yeah, I can see what you're saying about maybe being rushed. And I'm not saying like in a bad way. I just feel like he just has like so much more to give. Yeah. To where they're kind of just dropping the ball there. Yeah. And like it should have been way Didn't he didn't he stop being out like right around the time his son came like, was born? I would say so. It wasn't around, I, I think I, I think did follow him on IG and I don't aside from some like TikTok videos he does with his brother. Yeah. Fabian. I think he hasn't really been active that way. Yeah. And maybe he's being a good father. Uh, you know what that's you know, more important maybe yeah maybe that's that did, yeah you know what you're right i take everything i said back and he's <laughs> been focusing on his family i think maybe there's a correlation there of you know that happening and then him taking sort of a hiatus possibly i mean that would make sense to me and then that would lend to the fact that maybe the album is just kind of rushed at this point that they just said let's get something out because we said it's coming because they yeah. announced the album when we were at that posada thing didn't they uh i don't remember was that. it then or was it i don't know if it was the top of the year not, not it might have been at the top of the year, actually. You know what? But, yeah, but they always say that. Oh, we got an album coming. Yeah, yeah. No, they said that like in March. Okay. Yeah, so it's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, because yeah. I thought it was, it's almost been a year, no? Yeah. yeah. In December. Last year, December. Yeah, I know. Well, let's stick on Musica Mexicana. Chino Pacas just dropped. Live reaction or what? Yeah, let's live react to. Put the 3D goggles on. <laughs> You know, Pockets has dropped his really? album. Let's go and live react to the song with Drake and Fuerza. You know, you know he says mm. he he says the shout out that you told him to say. In, in that <laughs> really? For, <laughs> he Pac- uses it as his own. Play it. Now, you guys are probably gonna laugh at this fire. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I thought this was going to disappoint, but he got the cadence down. His verse verse was a little slower than Chino's and and JOP's, but... That's given. Because he's not he's speaking Spanish, so... But he didn't do it. I don't think he did that bad. For me, having low expectations, I think he he exceeded them. I do think the song sounds good without him. <laughs> Like yeah, I, but with him is not bad. On the on the yeah. off the first listen, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think with him, it's not un. Uh, I just feel like you're being a little too negative. Like I don't gotta skip it. Like, <laughs> no, I'll, I'll listen to it. I'll listen yeah, to it. I don't gotta skip it. It's not skippable. I feel like it's gonna get a lot of love on online. Well, yeah, for sure. I think they're gonna say Drake did but his is, thing. Is that really a telltale sign yeah. of the quality of the song? I think. I think not. I, I think yeah. for what the song was trying was trying to do, I think it accomplished it. Yeah, it's dope that he has Drake on your album. That's fucking tight. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is. But I think I think the reason why I like it is that like my fear was that Drake was gonna sound bad and he didn't. And I think he was able to really hop on the rhythm and be able to flow. I think they did that shit. Not saying it's a ten song or anything like that, but yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty damn good. Tell me how you feel. I would. I don't have to skip it. I don't have to <laughs> skip it. 
Well, I like guess because like the safest answer, like his, next week is going to be all over. <laughs> and then, anyway, nah, for it example, a 10. It was a 10. his part. His part. Yeah, I feel I like you gotta digest this more. Like, don't. Maybe, maybe I have to replay, but I don't like it. Like, I, I don't like it, but I do like the song. That's the part that I. I feel like you're just mad. Like, it's that it's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Like Drake is even doing this. No, no. Nah, I think that I think that is the only cool part is that he's doing this with Chino. Like that. That in itself is, is super cool. He just. Uh... No, no, but Drake. Not, not, not that he's doing it with Chino, but like he's doing corrido. No, that, that doesn't Hold bother on. me either. I just, you know what? To be fair, what did I, what was I really expecting? Right. For example, I I didn't go into this thing, oh, this motherfucker's going to kill this verse. This is like a, like one of those Pokemon cards that you can't play, but look cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's one of the three Egyptian God cards on Yu-Gi-Oh that you can't use anymore. Yeah, Some but like, like just for looks, you know? Yeah. Just okay. for looks. Yeah, yeah. And the rest of the song wasn't bad. Like it was, it was really good, I thought. Both yeah. of their verses um, was really good. And um, I don't think Drake, Drake did that. He did do bad. He did he did good. I think he did as good as he could. That's that's the best way to put it. That, yeah. I think he did as good as he could. Yeah. And the collab itself is just, it's cool that it's happening. And what else do you really expect? That's all we got to say. And that's, yeah. we close the door and then <laughs> we listen to the yeah. rest of the album. Yeah, for sure. I'm excited for the rest of the album. Thank you, Drake, for fucking with the Mexicans. Yeah. Only 13 songs I'm excited. Yeah. And that is, that's a big look. It seems like this was like election year or something for Drake or something because he was trying to get, persuade the, the Mexican vote. <laughs> he, he needs someone on the side right now. He's going through <laughs> tough times. I don't know if you've seen. Is there anything else you guys want to play on that one? Um, I mean, he has Smith with Junior Hatch and Fuerza. He has play the one with Duro Pacas. Oh, yeah, play that one. Pues Podemos. He has... I want to listen to I don't know if this is Tunchi or Tuneshi. No, it's Tunchi. Really. That song was out already. Was... Yeah. yeah, with Gabito. Yeah. Okay. He has Armenta on DiCaprio. And then he has another one, Fuerza. You don't know what he's going to do. No, that's been out. Okay. I think the, the last three have been out. And then a few in the middle. The Mami Chula and okay, yeah. Tucci. And... So you, you want to play Smith? Or no, you said Turo. Pues Podemos with Turo. Okay. That's got to go on the playlist. I think this is a new genre. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is a new genre, dude. These are called Cholo Corridos, bro. <laughs> For sure. This yeah, one just I came up with that. a new genre. That was fire. That was a good song. That's if the, wild. If the rest of the album is like that, that's just going to be good. That sounds great. Yeah, that's the new shit, bro. That's the, corridos. More of the shit I want to hear. I like I like what you said about the Drake song, though. You're right. So it's a side quest. Yeah, it's just you get double XP and like. I like that. That's what's up. Shout out, shout Some out shit. to Drake. Was that a rare Drake dub? Nah, I want to call it a Drake dub. Yeah, culture dub. <laughs> yeah, I would put that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's cool. Not to use that word. All right, guys, we got the Setch and Mike Towers song that just dropped tonight, right? Yeah. You guys want me to play it? Well, he dropped the deluxe album. Yeah, oh, okay. Thing. Play the whole thing. <laughs> I think it was, what's his name? I think it was Mariano who, who commented, like, I don't know about the cover art, but. <laughs> yeah, the cover art is lame. Yeah. Well, and then I, I started to like, look at it, like, what is he wearing? This was over here, the drapes right. on the window. <laughs> Do rag and the hoodie, no? Yeah. No, it's like a veil. It is a do rag, and it oh. it's a it's a hoodie, but then there's something on top of the hoodie that looks like a a bigger hoodie. No. Uh, you the one with that? sweat, the one with setch is otro nivel. What happened? It sounds a like ten. <laughs> we just listened I think, to uh, otro right, nivel. Right before Mike closed that out, I think Setch made that his song. That mm. little last minute that he was on. Yeah. I think he made that his song. Is it just me or are people not using such this year? Oh, well, no one's really using them. All right, but yeah. real question: Who's the better feature artist than such? A exactly. better feature right. artist. <laughs> well, I'm not going to use none of the big, even yeah, the big yeah. names. If if I'm not using anyone that's obvious, um, I would say 
I don't know if I don't know if he's better. Ryan Castro is great, but I don't know if he's better. Well, such has more like of a body of work. Yeah, he has more of a body for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think who else is not Jay Wheeler. He's got some great features, but <laughs> no, not Jay Wheeler. No one was even thinking about. <laughs> I'm thinking about him. He was just make sure he's making sure, <laughs> making sure. He's got to check him off the list. Yeah. So they don't. He forgot Jay. No, I didn't. Uh, I remember. He just I don't know. I think he kills it. I think he that looks cool. Yeah, I think you might be right. I think you might be right. Such yeah. If we're not, you're gonna say Rao, because you know that's come on. But yeah, if not, if not him, then have they had music together? Just them two. Yeah, they're, he's on a mood. He's on a Afro the Siako such Rao and such. No, not Rao and such. Mike. Oh, Mike and such. Uh, uh, outside of this. They have uh oh, they're good. on the C C La remix. It was Mike Towers. Dice yeah. que no fuma, pero si lo prendo, yo a ver. That said it on the remix. Yeah, I think you're on something like you're yeah, right. He, he sings the hook. Yeah. And then it goes into the beat. Yeah. Why aren't people using such as here? He's maybe he's he's not working. He's on hiatus, taking a little break, maybe. He was on the Avengers. Yeah, I'm. I'm just not counting that one. Other than yeah, <laughs> small project. He's part of the team. Yeah, I think of all the albums that have come out this year, he hasn't really been on on anything other than. That's all right, but then when he when he comes on, it's quality. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, set. Mike Towers is on. Um, he's on Setch's album, the the one of one. Fuck, what's that? It's called a belly. What'd you guys think of the song? I really like that. To me, that was a 10. I don't know about a 10. It was good. Not good. a 10, but almost a 10. Yeah. I was like just giving Take out some good, good grades tonight. <laughs> grades on the curve. No, 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 no. This is accurate. Man. Yeah. The Drake one, you got a grade on the curve. I, I can understand this one. But yeah, that's a good song. I that still think that, that Jay Wheeler feature <laughs> is something special. Not on Mike Towers' album. Yeah, yeah. But... Aunque llegó otro. That was, man. Benny Blanco. But he's a producer. Yeah, though. he's a producer. He doesn't see That's Benny Selena Blanco. Gomez, man. Yeah. And I think she was seen dancing with like some other white guy at a party. Hmm. It's all right. You know, for the longest I thought I had a chance with her. <laughs> Wait, what? Selena Gomez? Yeah, I don't know yeah. why you thought that. I feel like if she ever got to know me. Like... <laughs> <laughs> She's like, <laughs> now, that sounds crazy, but same. Not with her, but in general, I thought I it was would... like one, right? Like you'd be like, yeah. "Hey, like if she knew me, like I think she, I could." She would you think, know. I, you know, I think we'd be a good match. I think she'd she fuck so. with me. Yeah, I think so. I don't think you and Selena Gomez would be a good match. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> just all the shit I've seen. Like obviously, I don't know her, but just <laughs> I'm not saying I'm her type or nothing, but like. <laughs> I feel like I would have been like that guy. Like, hey, I didn't even know I was into like guys like that. (laughs) (laughs) That was like back then. I've never come across such a unique individual. (laughs) (laughs) It was funny. George probably thinks the same thing. (laughs) Oh shit! You gotta ask George when he comes back. What do you think? (laughs) What fuck? I feel you though. Yeah, you know what I, I mean. Like, like in a fantasy, sure. like in a fantasy sense. Yeah, sometimes I'd be, I, I would watch. Um, obviously, if she were to see me, she'd be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> like, nah, I mean Benny, Benny Blanco back. Yeah, but who the fuck, Benny Blanco? You know, I don't compare to him. You're a better looking guy than Benny Blanco. I'm just talking about looks. Yeah, but girls half the time they don't care about looks. They care about not she status. Just, I think she said she don't care about the. <laughs> she was at a like a pickup game. Cheering for someone? She was looking for me. <laughs> I think she put like uh, wishing I could. She put something, or maybe it was edited, but it was saying wishing I had a man to come like cheer on. She was literally like at a at a, at a fucking recreational like soccer a, league game. Soccer too? Yeah, it was soccer. Oh, Hector, you might have <laughs> a real chat. Hey, I knew. That's crazy. That's so specific. This guy did his research about that. <laughs> Uh, that's great. Nah, that's just off the rib, dude. Yeah, that's off the feelings. <laughs> I think you're right in your feelings. Yeah, actually. but yeah, you're just never gonna meet her. Like, how would you? Yeah, we're never gonna cross paths. 
<laughs> that that's always the problem, isn't it? And they're good. <laughs> <laughs> that's usually the issue. Yeah, yeah. Nothing else. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, what could, what could have been, you know? Yeah, and a lifetime. You never know. Well, she's there's me. always there's always the next lifetime <laughs> when you're reincarnated as someone else. All right, guys. Oh, uh, shit. There was, um, well, Mike Tower dropped the, his deluxe album. Alvaro Diaz dropped it. And Alvaro Diaz did the the right thing. I, I see what Mike Tower is trying to do. But, like, Alvaro Diaz added his songs and he just put, like, the new songs at the bottom. And Mike, like, mixed them in to, like, all around. So it's like, right. you kind of have to listen to it. Unless you know his whole other song, song by song and shit. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, oh, I see where he is. But he didn't just add them on at the end. Yeah, he added them on at the end. He, yeah. made, he sprinkled them all in. Like, yeah. Uh, Does that mean we got to judge the album as that now? Or they're just he did that in? with... Uh, I forgot what album he did that too with. But... He can give money back. Uh, Faruko dropped the album, your boy. Oh, shit. We got to listen. Yeah. Review next week. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac dropped the EP. His little six oh, album. okay. I do want to listen to that. Yeah, Who? I do want to listen. Isaac. Isaac? Yes, yeah, I Z A A K. Great artist, great artist. He's, yeah, he's had some good features. Here. He's on yeah. the Avengers. He's on both well, that Epic got song on the. Yeah. He has the Where You At remix. That's all cool. Yeah, he has some shit that that I really like. So I'm I'm excited. It looks like he's trying to be like the R and B dude in a reggaeton. Mm. Is that lane open though? Is that, is that a spot you can? I take? think it's well. Looks like Omar Court's trying to get that spot. Yeah. But who's who's in that potential role? Who's trying to take that from dudes? Well, I mean that used to be your dollar role, but yeah, you well, you let him. Yeah. I can't. Uh, I was asking. I mean, Fade makes sad songs, but I really wouldn't put him like in the R and B. Yeah, Omar. He Quartz. makes like the sad Pereo songs. Yeah. Um, I think, think no one's really in that anymore. They'll still make them. Yeah, but that's not their whole. <laughs> yeah. That's not what they make, like yeah. all the time. Yeah, that's not what they make a whole project on. Maybe. Yeah, you have a good point. I'm trying to think who else would be in that, in that role in reggaeton. Just strictly that. Yeah, I'm trying to. I would think, say you no. Know, girls wise, like Pow Pow, but then she's also doing like some. Yeah, that's a good one though. That's the right one. now, so we've gotten a chance to listen to her. Mm-hmm. I think I you like her. She's like another Pow Pow. Wait, is that R A? N-A-O? Yeah. No, it's R A. No, R I. R A I N A O. I think I have. I think I have, maybe. Yeah, she's got some cool songs. Yeah. She's like, pop out. Oh, uh, yeah, a little, little bit. Hmm. Trying to, yeah. Alvaro Diaz. Yeah, uh-huh. I put Alvaro Diaz in that R&B ish, but last album he kind of did a little too. Yeah, his first album was in that realm, but he kind of got a little too alt from my liking in this last one. But that's what album of the year, Sayonara. Yeah, and we got the deluxe. So it might be an A plus. 10, 10.5 out of 10. Thanks, LeBron, for the deluxe. George, <laughs> if is there one celebrity you think, girl or guy, that you think um like Come. if you meet them, like they'd like you? Like they'd want to fuck you? Like if they got the chance to meet you just off your personality, like they'd vibe with you. What was their name? Um I don't know what he was at. Um, she played Padme. Nally Portman? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think she's in a fuck with... You know, she's I a little so. weird. I can see that. I think so. Natalie Portman. <laughs> you said that with confidence. I think so. I think she she fucked with me. You know, her black swan, she was a little crazy. I can see that. Yeah? I think I have a chance to her if I meet her. What about you? Do you think she'd love... I don't know, just personality, I guess. <laughs> just oozing yeah, that. Yeah, so much personality. All right, you've had an hour. Say the line. Into the mic. All right. Allie Portman's right here. She's sitting, yeah, talking yeah, to yeah, friends. She's talking to friends. Yeah. She's at the Halloween party. She's dressed up as the black swan. I'm going to go to... <laughs> I'm going to go to... <laughs> Bro, you're not... All right. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go get a... I'm gonna go get a drink. Um, 
do you need anything? We're yeah, not, <laughs> we not the waiter, dude. Just be like, oh, dude. No, darn. You're not working in the party. <laughs> You're not there to, to serve the odors and shit. You don't have to actually like play the role of your costume. You don't have to serve her burgers and shit. <laughs> do you need it? Double, double? <laughs> Would you like a cheeseburger? How do you want your meat cooked? <laughs> I'm the cook in the party. Oh, shit. <laughs> Say the line, dude. That's crazy. It's like, hey, I'm gonna give myself a drink. Why can't you say that, dude? I don't get it. I don't know. I have to do it without anybody else. Like, I think I could do it without. That kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Because you got to say. I feel like you're more. Confident. You're with your boys right now. You can't. Yeah. Maybe There's not a girl in front of you. I know, but I feel more comfortable saying it. Actually, but when you say it in person, you have to say it to the girl, not. In the bathroom. Yeah, what if you mess up, dude? And then she'd be like, who's this fucking Make-A-Wish Foundation kid? <laughs> they were like, oh, Mariana invited the needy to the, to the party. You got a special needs cousin or what? <laughs> What's uh, your condition, buddy? <laughs> Say the line, dude. All right. What was the line again? I'm gonna get myself a drink. Can I get you anything? I'm gonna go get something to drink. No, I'm gonna get myself. <laughs> I'm gonna get myself. No, no, I'm going like this. I'm gonna get myself. <laughs> Are you pointing at yourself? He was doing that too. I thought he wanted no, me I to went do like that. You know, went like this. I'm gonna get myself. That's what you said. <laughs> but I'm, I'm putting my... emphasis on the word. Man, don't point. Just be like, hey, I'm gonna get myself. Because it's gonna be loud. Like he's gonna be playing, so you might have to you get a little go closer. Like, yeah, you gotta go like this. You get an attention. You're like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna get myself something to drink. Can I get you something? Hey, I'm gonna get. <laughs> Why did you turn into the Jamaican person? I'm trying to get hey, out. Man. Hey, man. Can I get you something? It's John Bond. <laughs> Just give me the bing. And you can turn out of your own. Do it, sorry. All right. <laughs> you can't even look in our direction. Someone start laughing. But hey, no freaking go like this. Like, hey, I'm going to give myself a, a drink. Do you want anything? Can I get you anything? That was, that was, Can I get you anything? That was there actually decent. Go. That was decent. Yeah. See? Yeah, like Out of that. 10, maybe like a 6. Yeah, Good. yeah you just got to work on the conviction. Like more, more, yeah. more casual. Yeah. Less like robotic. <laughs> <laughs> George is going to be standing there like waiting. All right, it's time for me to say That's time for me to say <laughs> <laughs> Might have to write it Let's down. Let's hope you too. don't have a third sentence you gotta make. You know, hopefully you can just go yes and what if they what if they tell you no? What are you gonna do? What if she asked me for like a mixed drink and I don't know how to do it? Right you don't there, have a mixed dude, drink, are right you serious? There. Yeah, just go Whoa. to the bar and be like, hey, can someone make me the bar? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> go around the counter. <laughs> yeah, go around the counter and that be like, oh, cause so just ask them. Yeah, just ask come to her the hey, like, they really not know how to make me a drink though. Like, I don't think like, any girl. I'm what like, if I make it too strong? Like, hey, let me get a fucking. The rule of thumb is get a shot glass, pour it, the alcohol in there, and you pour it into the drink. Yeah, it's not that. Oh. That's a shot. You bring her a napkin as well. Mm-hmm. Fill up, nice fill touch. up, fill it up with the beverage, probably like three quarters, and then you add the shot. Do a little mixy mix. Make sure you get a straw. But I doubt any girl's gonna ask you to to make a drink. What if she tells me that? What do you recommend? What do you like? Well, first pronounce it correctly. (laughs) Recommend. Recommend. Because some like, like, what do you like? You like beers? You like seltzers? And then she'll tell you. I swear. I don't know this one. Well, the other listeners, he just rubbed his head like. But like, if she, if she, yeah, Catalyst. if she tells you something like that, this like, what do you time. recommend now? Like, okay, now she wants you to kind of guess what she likes at that point. George is not going to want to go anymore. He's like, I can't make it. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to fucking pressure. drink or not, bitch? Like, <laughs> I ain't got all day. Like, uh, yeah, just the like, saddest part is, what if she doesn't even respond? Uh, uh, not you. Like, the worst thing she's going to be like, I'm okay. Thank you. You know, when I was out, I was out one Didn't time. Did you and walk away, dude? <laughs> I was out one time and there was this, um, I was about to leave. So I was mm-hmm. waiting for someone to get out the restroom. And then uh, this this group of girls were sitting down. And then this dude comes with like um, a bunch of like, he probably had like four martinis for the girls. Doesn't know them. 
and he puts them down he's like oh i got these drinks for you guys whatever and the girls are like they're like okay like thank you whatever and then they got up and left did they take the drinks no oh they just well what kind of idiot before you don't even you haven't even introduced yourself yeah no no don't pull up with a drink yeah you don't pull up with (laughs) drinks because then that's you know girls now yeah you can't number one bro that's rule number one like we're not gonna accept drinks with strangers and shit yeah open drinks too it's not even something that's bottled yeah you go talk to the birds and then you oh let's go get the drink yeah and that's not your opening line by the way yeah that's that's when you're already talking to her you already you should go and be like like, hi my name is george no you should say what's you just like like, pay attention to everyone don't just pay attention to her but what's bob burger's line like what does he say (laughs) You didn't say like hi, welcome to Bob Burger. Can I get your burger? You should go up there and say that. You know, oh, I don't think he says that. <laughs> oh, you watch the show, motherfucker! I don't watch the show. Yeah, like what's his catchphrase? Like, what is what does he say? He doesn't really have a catchphrase. He's just honestly, none of the, I doubt any of the girls there are gonna know who the fuck Bob Burger is. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> good call. Are you a chef? Yeah, <laughs> a chef. Yeah. Sorry, about you. A chef <laughs> rambling, right? Yeah. A chef. A chef, George. A please. chef, George. Like a sheriff? A chef? I said chef. <laughs> it sounds like he's trying to say my name is Jeff. <laughs> so oh, isn't that what you tried to be once? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, that was you man you're gonna talk to some girls you got it though don't worry <laughs> just like relax dude. it's not there's not a lot to it like just you know. and this whole out of nowhere he's just gonna be like so are we fucking or not like what if you see me making out with one of them so... uh, hey uh, I, I know we're in hell uh, we're, <laughs> we're in, we just switched dimensions I see you making out with any person George, I'm like, I'll cry, bro. <laughs> I'll joy, fall down to my knees. And... <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Let this not be the rapture. Hey, I might jump out the balcony. Right <laughs> <laughs> Here, All right, Leo. Oh, fuck. It's going to be a full hour, George. So you... <laughs> yeah, it could happen. No. It I could. Am. I don't I even know if you're making out with Alpha or some shit. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> I was just can't say that. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. All right, guys, we have one last <laughs> topic. Um, the guess the song or guess yeah guess the song. We're gonna play something for one second and we're gonna try and guess it. Do you guys want me to do it? Do you guys want to do it? What's up? They'll uh, do two each, no? Yeah, that works. We can do that. And just close it out that way. All right. Oh, like we're just going to play two songs? Yeah. You're just going to pick randomly or you're just going to pick a song? Um, no, you know what? I, should I just do go to the playlist and hit shuffle? Not ours because it's a small. Not nah, the, the other one. That one's a little bigger. Oh, yeah, you can do that one. Yeah, yeah, just like. The other one yeah, has yeah. 111 songs. Yeah, that's fine. How's that? Sure. All right, guys. We're going to play one song. We'll be a chef. <laughs> chef Boyardee. <laughs> All right. My name is Chef. <laughs> hey, that's your catchphrase. Again. All right. We're going to play one song for one second. And we're going to try and guess what it is. That's why I went on camera. <laughs> nah, that's a fake song. This was in my bed. <laughs> right, do it again. Okay. It's not. Uh, Can you play the ending? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why would I do that? Why would I do that, George? Wait, first and last. <laughs> Maybe all. It's get fucking. It. Uh, I don't know. This. I don't know the intro. I, I don't know. It's it's before Billy Billy's on the album. I don't know. It's good it is Equis Bainty. Yeah, Bainty yeah. By who? It's fade. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing he said too, he says it's fade. All right, ready and okay. All right, guys, we're ready. Mm-hmm. And three, two, and one. Oh, I don't know what the. <laughs> 
<laughs> if that's on the playlist, I'm, I don't know what to do it on there. I know it's YNG Lucas, but... Oh. It is not. No? <laughs> and it's Young Lucas. Young Lucas. YNG. Okay. Ready? And three, two, one. No. But I don't even know what the fuck that is. <laughs> it is bum, Chris bum, MJ bum. soltándote. Yeah, I... I would have guessed that. I don't know the intro. No. Okay, we'll do one more. Do one more. Okay. The last one, last one. <laughs> One more. Okay, ready? And three, two, and one. <laughs> no, that was good. <laughs> Remix that close to you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's fair. It's just fucking random. All right, Wes, there you go. Play one second. And let's see if we can guess this shit. <clears throat> I like that George said, I know. It's oh, I don't know. Uh, new phone. Uh, <laughs> yeah. it oh, it's a USB C. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay, we gotta get you. You lose your turn. <laughs> let, let George. Yeah, we can let George. Fuck it, let George. George is gonna fucking go for me. For ah, uh, this motherfucker is gonna figure like some Canelo's Juniors type. No. Shit. <laughs> no, he's gonna play some '80s rock. Shit. Yeah, you have to play reggaeton or música mexicana. I was gonna put the the la well, don't, don't tell, tell us, us, motherfucker. George. Right. You're gonna really do Barahangyad? I think we know the 30 <laughs> songs on there right now. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Uh, Bandido, Mike Towers. Damn. That was quick. Okay. Did you know that one? <laughs> yeah. No, no more. No, I didn't. No. I was thinking of a different song. <laughs> it was so we think. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Can you play the end? <laughs> uh, play second. Play two seconds. Play two. Play another second. Let's just finish <laughs> with that. Fuck, <laughs> oh, well, that really helped. Uh, play it again. Turn it up. I think we just got. I didn't. Hand. Just got a little hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, I don't know that one. Nah, I don't know that one. You know that song? That's a song. Good song. song. Yeah, good song. One more, one more. Uh, not fade. Uh, do 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 do. <clears throat> hmm, I don't know if you guys would get this. I can't least who actor said he hit a gym with <laughs> I'm going to watch that shit back tomorrow or on Sunday and I'm going to just laugh my ass off. That is hilarious. <laughs> no, that was the Dika, Davey, and Young Chi, right? I Damn. I didn't hear it. <laughs> Every song you're going to play. Every song you're going to play. Every song you're going to play. It was going to be Blast, dude. Oh, of course it was. <laughs> This was straight out. Hey, George, then you have to play one <laughs> second, then pause again. And yeah, don't but... show Hector this time. Yeah. Goggles. <laughs> there, pause. That's, that's, it. More than that's, oh, that's Santa. Russian <laughs> Alejandro. You play a second and pause it. So when it says so one, you... get the guess. All right. Boom, boom. Open up the whole screen. As soon as you see it turn from zero, zero, zero to zero, zero, one, you pause it. <laughs> One Mississippi. I can't believe we have to explain this. <laughs> Sorry for that much, man. Sorry for that mooch. Do one more. <laughs> why, is he, no. why is he so shocked when we get it? Whoa, we got that one. <laughs> <laughs> that was my trump cut. That was a deep cut. All right, go back. <laughs> that's uh, No Digas Na, Fade Yandel. No Digas Na. Can you play something that's not so, like, obvious? I'm shuffle. <laughs> But that's why I you pick. This yeah, song. go keep going to these. Okay, this is going to be a hard one for them. Yeah, challenges. Surprise! Give us something that really would be like, oh shit. Uh, my man, we take the body, look it up over there, man. Freaky, Gonzi. Yeah, Gonzi. yeah. 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 freaky. <laughs> <laughs> we just. He sounded like. Yeah, he said yeah. that. I'm gonna turn it up. Maybe. Oh, Something musica mexicana. You want? Give me your phone. Let me play a fucking song. <laughs> 
No, I love this pick. Play Bad one more, joke. play one more, and then uh, you got to pass your phone down to the West because you don't have one. Yeah. <laughs> I almost did that it. That was yours. Damn. I can't. Motherfucker, did you not? You know, That's whole... it. Pass yours. <laughs> Just about to give me his phone. Whatever. <laughs> Just play your song and the episode's over. Yeah, so. Uh... Nice. Bonita. That's Christian Mahata. Ponte yeah. Bonita. Yeah. 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 Was... You know, that was good. Good shit. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> it was all something different. You're right. That was a good one, George. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Episode 177 of the La Familia Pod. The guys are out. Thanks for tuning in. Every Dang, week. we get to 200 before the year end, though. <clears throat> we are not. Oh. That's next year. Next year. That's another 23 weeks. So <laughs> next year. Damn. Damn. That is. That's a long time. Next. Half a year. So, fuck. Well, next there's June. only 12 more weeks left in this year. Well, like 13. So next April, maybe. We'll be, we'll be there. Yeah, but we're probably going to miss like one or two weeks because of Thanksgiving or New Year's or whatever. But yeah. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> It was okay. we're scheduling at the end of the episode. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening. Peace. All right, bye. <laughs>